All right, so let's review what failed, why it failed, why it's trash, why we're putting it in the trash. So this had to have a check valve. Why does it have to have a check valve? Because it only takes five gallons of water to turn your sump pump on. So if this did not have a check valve and it all of a sudden just stops pumping, whatever's in this line washes back down into the sump basin. Five gallons is all it takes to turn it on. So this would repeat over and over again until it burned up the sump pump. We have a chambered sump system to take care of that problem along with many of the other issues that outdoor sump systems have. Stay tuned. Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm your host Robert Sherwood and I just want to talk about my patented outdoor sump pump system. Now I've been a contractor for 35 years and I based all my experience and knowledge when we went ahead and developed a patented outdoor sump pump system. The problem we were having is just a traditional sump pump basin. It's like a mini garbage can. It doesn't hold enough water. So the sump pump has to run a lot. A sump pump only has so many cycles and it's done. Every manufacturer tests their pumps and they actually have this. This is available to you. You can look it up. They actually have how many cycles the pump has in it, how many life cycles before failure each sump pump has in it. Simply put, the less your sump pump is turned on, the longer it will last. So traditional basins didn't allow for an extended life period in a sump pump. That's why we patented our system. Instead of just having a vertical shaft, it has this big horizontal shaft that contains all the water. Now I always recommend add more chamber length. This is how we ship them out but you can easily take the end plate off with a T25 nut driver and go ahead and put added chamber length. I recommend it, at least three feet. The more chamber you have, the more water it takes to turn the sump pump on. So the sump pump sits in the bottom of this bad seed. This is called the, our bad seed sump pump system. As the water level goes up, so does the float on the pump. It's triggered, it goes off, and then it discharges. The extended chamber does two things. One, it makes your sump pump last 10 times longer, but here's another thing. It makes it possible to build your system without a check valve. Why is this so important? A check valve is one of the leading causes to extra run time or extra cycling. Literally what happens when a check valve goes bad, your sump pump has all this backwash because a check valve, remember a check valve prevents the water from flowing back into the system. So once the check valve fails and you have to replace it, before you know your check valve has failed, what is it doing? You have backwash going down into the pump. Then it's turning it back on. Now the water gets sent and it fills the line. The line's full of water, it turns off. There's no check valve working properly to stop the backflow of water to go back in. So this chambered system allows for no check valve. If you have no check valve, there's gonna be some water in the line that just naturally falls back into your outdoor sump pump basin. The bad seed with the extended chamber is gonna allow you to build it without a check valve. This way you never ever lose a sump pump due to a check valve failure because that is so common people will say god i thought i heard it running quite a lot this week or the last couple of weeks seemed like it was running all the time well that's because it was the check valve went bad it pumped the water out the water you know back flowed back in and it, that continued until all those life cycles got used up and the sump pump was taken out so this takes care of the two things that are most problematic when it comes to sump pump life It'll shorten a sump pump's life so quick if you have a small basin and you're just repeatedly going on, off, on, off because it only holds like five gallons of water or your check valve goes bad and now it's just going to turn on and off as the water flows back in and then gets sent back out and flows back in until it burns up. So our patented out there sump pump system prevents both those and literally this end plate, it's held on with a T25 nut driver, super easy to take off, super easy to extend uh, the chamber length. Now. Real quick, people always ask me, what's the difference between the micro and the full frame? Well, the micro, we can get it in smaller uh, places. Where do, where do we benefit? Uh, egress windows, love it. 
if you have just a small hole that's collecting water and you just need to dig a hole and drop it in. The other thing too, littler packages mean no freight charge. So our full frame, which I'm setting on the ground right now, that has to be sent on a pallet, unfortunately. The only system we have that can be sent in a box is our micro. So our micro, great for win window wells, great for small jobs. It's a one-third horse. This one has a Zoller M53 in it. This is a one-third horse. It rocks. You can take the end plate off. Again, you know, we're, we were talking about adding chamber length and just how easy it is. People, they buy three feet of chamber length. You could even have us take the end plate off for you and put it on the chamber length that you're purchasing if you want. That's not a problem. We try to set you up so that you have minimal installation when it comes to, I don't want you guys to have to assemble anything. I mean, I want it to be a great experience. Dig a hole and drop it in. That's what it's all about. So we could actually take the end plate off, put it on some chamber for you. That way you'd have the inlet on the end and then you would have to just with two zip ties, take the split coupler, put the split coupler on, put a couple zip ties through it, hold it tight, it's in place, done. That's how simple it is to add chamber. This is our micro bad seed. We can ship it in a box. It's become our number one seller for that very reason. Here's our full frame. Our full frame bad seed just simply displaces more water. It has a bigger power plant with a half horse. So if you have a big water problem, you know it. This is the one you want to rock for sure. When you add and extend chamber length to this one, it's just tens if not hundreds of gallons of water you're now displacing. So we've done a lot of installs. I'm starting to you know, show more. It's hard for me to get out there with the guys and be a videographer for a day. I mean, running French Drain Man, you know, our installation thing is how we developed all these products for the DIY, but it obviously comes first. It pays the bills around here, but we like to help and we're trying to help and provide you with all the necessary tools to be successful in your outdoor dewatering needs. All right, everybody, until that next video. Garbage, just garbage. They're made out of trash and they belong in the trash. Always put a D box for your downspouts. Your French drain, if you build it like we teach you guys, it's fully contained and no contaminants can get in to cause a problem to your sump pump system. Downspouts, however, can. Shingle gravel leaves and debris come out of downspouts. So we're gonna take this D box and we're gonna hook our solid high octane pipe to it before the water flows out the other side of it. That way it catches all the leaves and debris. So you don't have to hook up the pipes. So you have a chambered sump pump system and then you have a pipe that's fully contained so no contaminants can get in it. You got the high octane eight slot. Look, see how the chambers have holes? So the water just floods into the sump pit, into the chambered system. You don't have to hook up any pipes. People are always struggling with this they're like well where do you hook up the pipe that's the beauty of it we built it so you don't have to all right guys so always put a d box in for your roof runoff system because your your roof is always going to be dumping leaves and shingle gravel and debris so you definitely want to have a d box for that we're using a 20 inch round for that here that way the homeowner can go about their life life can happen things can get busy and if they don't check this but once every few years, they'll be fine.
All right, let's do a walkthrough. So we pulled up the brick pavers right here. Like this is the after, by the way. This is the after. You know, we have a clean out on this downspout. We pulled up the brick pavers. We ran that in our open French drain. So we put the decorative stone back. And the guys did a really nice job. There used to be an old sump here, and it was for all the water that just comes off the road, the sheet water. There, <laughs> Here's the indoor sump systems that were put outdoors. Now they're at the road. We put them out for trash. Okay, so we put the decorative stone over our open French drain right here. I know there's landscape plans for this house, so they're going to have landscape company coming behind us. Right here, we have just our open French drain. We got the roof runoff system in here. Now, remember, you want D boxes. So, what we did is the one solid line, we basically ran a D box for just the roof runoff system. That's it. I want to catch all the shingle gravel leaves and debris in this 20 inch round. And then the water just comes out the other side of that box into our system. We have this massive chamber right here ridiculous chamber we have rooftop water coming off the neighbor's house we have all this sheet water coming off the drive we're now catching all that water right here guys did a really really nice job right here of that discharge line it's stubbed now what we're going to do is in this trench that they're digging we're running the roof runoff system and what we're going to do is we're going to run three inch schedule 40 the reason why we're running three inch schedule 40 we're going to put our no seams it's seamless fittingless no glue joints we're going to feed this through if somebody like hits this pipe with an aerator it won't hurt nothing we're going to use the hard pipe for its crush rating and we're going to put our flex schedule 40 through I don't have to worry, it can move up and down in the freeze and thaw. You know, you always find a lot of concrete when you're digging by the water. You know, they use whatever they can for fill for these yards.